Hello. Welcome. Uh, you may be wondering why the hell I'm here. You may be thinking, why the fuck is this nerd back on my fucking screen? Well, the answer is you clicked on the video, that's your fault. Anyways, uh, hi. Welcome to the SliceX tutorial. Uh, the, the super basic. Literally just enough knowledge that you need to know to actually use SliceX with your chromatics or whatever the hell else you're assigning to it, right? So, let's begin. And please note, this is like the most basic stuff. If you want literally anything besides chopping up your chromatic, making sure the labels are correct, and basic controls, this is not the video for you. However, if you just want to know how to get it done and over with, you're in the right place. So. First, you start with whatever FL Studio project you have, right? So you have this. Now you need to get your chromatic. So I assume you're coming here off of somewhere else or whatever the hell. Doesn't matter. So, for example, I am going to go to... Where is my chromatics? Oh, it's under here. Um... Here you go, we're gonna go with this Nikusa chromatic. This is the version with uh, this is the version with um, no cuts, right? As you can see, I have one with cuts and everything. So first what you need to do is you need to go to here and you go to you need to go to Slice X, add it as an instrument. You do that, you click here. Now you have to take get your chromatic. I am going to be taking um, this, this, no reverb or anything, Niku is a chromatic, so it's easier to hear. Bam. And as you can see, it pops up right here. Pretty simple. Simple things you can do right off the bat. If you're hovering over this, you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, the middle, middle mouse scroll wheel, whatever the fuck you call it. Uh, if you want to move back and forth, you can either grab this bar, move it around, or hold down middle click. It'll, it'll do the same thing. However, if you move up or your mouse forward or backwards with the middle click, it'll also zoom in. It's a little funky, so I would probably not do that myself. So now that you have the chromatic in here, there's some very basic things you need to know. Um, you see all these buttons? No, you don't. <laughs> no, uh, but in more serious note more serious matter, um, this is, again, this is the most basic material, so I'm showing you not a ton. But uh, there's several things you can have. You can have add marker, which is pretty important. You uh, just put it down with M, right? Name it whatever the fuck you want. There you go. There's the name. In case you get into anything that's not literally the most basic cuts, not gonna lie. So there's the <laughs> delete, which will delete all of the markers, nothing else. Now there's several things you can do. There's auto slice, right? Which has all this shit, right? There's dull, medium, sharp, small, medium, large, all that shit. Uh, I think the recommended one some people recommend is dull because it is the most, is the sim, yeah. it is the simplest one to do. Also, if you're wondering what the selection thing is, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is it's super fucking annoying. And when you have it on your thing, uh, it like, well, you can only, it'll do specifically that area right, for whatever you're doing up here. My solution is just highlight everything. Uh, so dull auto slicing, as you can see, it does in fact slice automatically every single one of these. Problem, they're all named marker, and if I were to say, you know, go to my pattern, piano roll with F7, also fuck you auto dump, go away. Um, you know, you have seven. It says marker, no notes, which is really fucking annoying. So here's the alternative you can do, which is go to here, go to auto, uh, not auto slice. Well, first, if you're following me directly, uh, delete all of those markers. Two, go to detect pitch regions. Click it. This'll take a second, but it'll detect every single 
proper pitch region. If it, if this is just like a chromatic with actual separated shit, right? This works best with that. You can probably pull it off with other stuff. I don't know. I'm not that good. Uh, as you can see, we have our pitch regions. We have C, we have C4 through C6. Now, some things you can do with this. One, you, you know, say we say we zoom in. It's like okay, we want this to start a little earlier, right? <laughs> Right, we have all those notes. Say we want this to start a little earlier. You can grab up here, move this forward, bam. Changes uh, where it starts. Which is very helpful if, say, you have like a random noise right here, and it's just like, hoop, and, uh, right? And then it continues the note. You can just move this to before the fucking note. Um, now. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm not even kidding. That is not a joke. Uh, since now all the pitches are in here, if I go into here... Oh! Real quick, before we continue. Go up. Go up. If you go to here, there's something called auto-dump. Get rid of that shit. Before you do all this cutting in the future. Because, uh, annoyingly enough, anytime you make a change, it'll, I think, if I remember correctly, it'll dump it on the MIDI... Uh, on the keyboard. So if I do that, right, it's fine. But if I click auto dump, it dumps it. So turn off auto dump. Save some children's lives or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you do in your free time. Anyways, so we have this, right? In theory, if I remember correctly, this is a second track where you can load up another scale so that Say you want to overlay two different instruments or two different parts of a voice to make a voice. Uh, two, two parts of a chromatic to make a different chromatic or whatever. You can do that. But now, we have our slice chromatic. Now, say we want to save this. Uh, what you do is you go from this weird little flag marker, whatever the fuck. You go to the left. You go to... Um, here, right, there's the save button. You can click the save button, you save the sample as, it'll save it as a special um, wave file that not only has the chromatic itself, but it also saves the uh, slices and everything. I'm not going to save it because I've already done that in the past. Now, say, you know, there's some notes that I don't want, right, you know, th these over here, right? Say we don't want these last three notes. What you can do is if you if you oh it turns out if you right click one of these regions it helps with the selecting but not really say we want to get rid of this right all you have to do is go to here go to your delete button and it no okay well in that case we get to go to the second thing which is where we hit cut right you go to the scissors you hit cut Bam, it's gone. You know, say you accidentally cut something though, you can hit Control Z, and as long as you did nothing between the cut and this, it'll come back. So we're gonna, I'm actually gonna delete that real quick so I can show you, I'm not kidding, with the uh, cuts. You put it here. As you can see, this is not in Slice X, so it doesn't fucking work. This happens to me every time because, uh, I have this uh, thing called being stupid. You know, we add this, we go to here, we can go to chromatics, as, and if we open it in Slice X properly, you know, like a non-dumbass, as you can see, it still has everything. And also, uh, just to make sure everyone knows, I forgot to turn off auto dump, damn it. Uh, but just to prove that I am not kidding or anything, or this is like not pre whatever the fuck. Thank you. 
How fast is my Lavinia? Okay, one set that properly. timing's off and I know why it's because I don't have the right tempo anyways yeah that you get my point sorry I've just not been talking for the past whatever the fuck but yeah so that's long story short how you use slice x uh yeah if you're wondering about what the hell everything else here does I would say definitely look up a tutorial because <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to help or uh, look up a better tutorial. I mean, hell, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, To Avenge was making a tutorial for one reason or another. Because he has a lot of tutorials. A lot of really good tutorials. So, uh, anyways. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Goodbye.